your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chad Crilly. We told you about the potential of today being a wet day and that part of the forecast definitely coming to fruition. This afternoon, showers and thunderstorms were scattered in nature, but now as we look at the radar, the activity is starting to fill in a little bit more. A light, steady rain falling across much of Coffee County and into Dale County. And we also have somewhat of a broken line of thunder showers that's beginning to approach the eastern part here of Geneva County and working into western Houston County. So if you live in Dothan, the rain might actually pick up in intensity here for a little bit over the next hour. Showing you the bigger picture this afternoon, there is a stationary boundary to our north. This stationary boundary has served as a focal point for some of the heavier rain showers on this Wednesday afternoon and some of the flooding concerns as well. But still, deep tropical moisture continues to pour into the wiregrass, hence why we're seeing a lot of the rain today. It's 80 degrees in Dothan, those showers keeping the temperatures down for sure. We have a south southeast breeze at three miles per hour. Humidity is at 90% and the dew point is in the upper 70s. That's an indication that we have a lot of tropical moisture out there. It is extremely muggy. Upper 70s for some locations this afternoon. 78 degrees in Enterprise. It is 78 in Geneva. Holding on to 80 degrees in Florala. Upper 70s in Andalusia. And across the Panhandle, temperatures generally the same. Running in the lower 80s. Of course, normally we are a lot hotter this time of year at this time of day. Taking you through your evening planner. If you're stepping out for dinner, you'll want to bring the rain jacket with you. Bring the umbrella as well. Showers will continue through about 9 o'clock. And then after that, we should be dry, but mostly cloudy for the remainder of the night. And as we start off your Thursday morning, we'll be about 74 degrees out the door. We don't have to worry about any rain early tomorrow morning, but it will pick right back up into the afternoon. So with that being said, let's take you into our hour by hour forecast starting with this evening. Notice how a couple of showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder will linger here past 10 o'clock. So the potential of rainfall going past when we normally see our showers and storms conclude during the summertime months, which is around sunset, but it will not be an all night deal. In fact, tomorrow morning, here we go. We're starting off dry with a lot of clouds around and then rinsing and repeating the same forecast with the potential of some heavy rainfall as we get into the second half of the afternoon, continuing into the evening. Even the threat on Thursday of some isolated flooding can't be ruled out either. Let's talk about the tropics. We haven't for a while, so showing you our tropical satellite, there's a tropical wave that's about to move over the west coast of Africa and into the Atlantic Ocean. We have a long time to watch this, generally unfavorable for development here over the next few days, but as we get into August, it will encounter some really warm sea surface temperatures. So we'll keep an eye on that one back at home. Showers and storms likely on Thursday. Then as we head into the weekend, the chance of rain is going to drop off, which means if you have outdoor plans, you should be able to get them in. Quite soupy out there, if you ask me. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> it's muggy. Whatever word to describe, stickiness. Hey, summer in right. Alabama. Yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Far for the course. Well, up next, an 